Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's a chilly, chilly morning here in Vegas. Uh, when I got up at 6 o'clock this morning, it was like 34 degrees. So, a little chilly, a little chilly, and we like that. We're supposed to have, uh, evidently, we're going to have possibility of snow flurries on Christmas here in Vegas. So, uh, that happens every once in a while, but not very often. So, we'll see. That'd be great, though. All right, so as you can tell from up above, we got some Goodwill goodies um, and some Desiree books, Desiree Industries rather, excuse me, Desiree books. Anyway, we got some goodies here, um, not a whole lot, but uh, um, did find some things I, I wanted and uh, I'm going to share with you guys if that's all right. So let's get started. What do you say? So this is an oldie but goldie. And um, I have it already, but my friend that collects does not have it. And uh, I thought I'd get this for her. The Last House on the Left. This is the unrated version. Of course, this is directed by Wes Craven, who also did Scream. It's from 1972. Runtime, 1 hour, 24 minutes. A scary darn movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Good one. Good one there. I got this one because I'm a nerd. I've been doing computers since I went to college back in 1971-72. So, um, yeah. I actually wrote programs on the cards. You typed them in. They were on little cards. You put them in a card reader. That produced the program. Wow, that was crazy. So anyway, the net. I didn't have, I've seen this many times, a couple times anyway. And uh, thought, you know what? I want that in my collection because this is a pretty good movie. If you have not seen the net, you ought to check it out. <clears throat> All right. And another one that I got because I've seen Skulls 1 and 2, but I had not seen Skulls 3. The Skulls 3. There's the back. That's PG-13. <clears throat> 103 minutes. From 2003, I understand. And I really loved uh, Skulls 1. And eh, 2 wasn't as good, I don't think. But I can't wait to check this one out. Let me know down below if you've seen it, if it's any good. Now, I have the first season of this already, so, you know, I had to pick up, look at this, I got, it has still the Walmart promos thing on it, but I got it at Desiree Industries, for less than I would have got it at Walmart, which is cool. <laughs> at Desiree, I think I paid, yeah, two dollars for the second season of Modern Family. I like this, uh, this series. This is by Fox, of course, 2011, 516 minutes, all 24 episodes. Pretty cool. And here's the third season. Also $2. Somebody didn't, they didn't even bother. These things are still factory sealed. <laughs> 24 episodes, season three, Modern Family. Like it. Somehow I've missed this along the way. I don't know how. It's got Jessica Alba, Terrence Howard, and Hayden Christensen. A rare mystery thriller with twists that keep you guessing. Awake. Awake. 2007. R-rated. 84 minutes. Looks pretty creepy to me. Sexy and suspenseful. Awake turns the disturbing real phenomenon of anesthetic awareness in which surgery Patients, though completely paralyzed, are conscious, conscious of everything they're experiencing, including the pain, into a completely absorbing thriller. That just, to me, you, you know, be paralyzed and be able to feel and see everything they're doing. Oh, my gosh, that would be terrible. Ugh, has anyone ever experienced that? Let me know down below. Wow. Next is the complete motion comic, 12 episodes of 
It says the graphic novel comes to life page by page. The Watchman. Watchman not rated. 325 minutes from 2009. This actually has a, a, a Wonder Woman appearance in it. It says, The most celebrated graphic novel of the time that broke the conventional mold continues to break new ground. Watchman co-creator and illustrator Dave Gibbons oversees the digital version of the graphic novel that adds limited motion, voice, and sound to the book's strikingly drawn panels. I'll check it out. <clears throat> I like the uh, I like the comics. I think I've seen this one before. I certainly have seen the cover of this, but I don't remember it, so I don't have it in my collection. So now I do. Touristas, unrated. Touristas, R-rated, two thousand and six, ninety-five minutes. I have seen it. It's, it's only a movie. <laughs> uh, just keep selling, telling yourself that. It's only a movie. Rising star jo Josh Duhamel leads a group of young backpackers who find themselves stranded on a remote Brazilian beach, an exotic paradise, with warm sunshine, cool ocean breezes, and plenty of hot bodies. But after a night of partying, the wayward touristas are drugged and robbed, and their dream vacation becomes a gruesome nightmare. Here's the back. This is a Goodwill pickup. Everything at Goodwill, when I pick these up, we're half off. This one has Ryan Gosling, Naomi Watts, and Ewan McGregor. It's called Stay. Stay. It just looked interesting to me. I don't remember ever seeing it. It's a 2006 movie. R rated with 99 minutes. A chilling thriller that will keep you on the edge of it. If you've seen it, let me know about this one. Is it any good? A suicidal college student and his doctor enter a twisted world of supernatural horror and stay. So I'm on I'm on on board with that. <clears throat> Alright, next up we have something P Mac movies would like. Probably. I don't know. P Mac, you ever seen this one? Juan, 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 R-rated, 92 minutes. Nothing about it. It says it's an eerie tale of a family who is brutally killed in their own home, leaving behind an evil spirit lurking in the shadows. When an unknowing home care worker enters, the spirit is awakened and a terrifying chain of events begins, passing through all of those who step foot in this dark home. Here's the back. Sounds interesting. Let me know if it's any good. Then we have a multi-feature. I don't know why I pick these up. I mean, I generally, I, I pick this up because one, I don't have the autopsy here. That one. But, uh, I do have the butterfly effects. Don't I don't have the broken. But I do have the abandoned, so I want to check out Autopsy. If you've seen them, let me know. Let me know down below. What's Autopsy about? Of course, we know what Autopsy is about, but a vacation turns deadly for a group of recent college grads when they land in an eerie hospital with a doctor who conducts unhuman, inhuman experiments. Ah, okay. Very good. All right, so next up we have something from Goodwill and doggone labels all over it. I'm going to have to take all those off. Something called, I guess, Caché Hidden. Caché Hidden. This is by Sony Picture Classics, 118 minutes, a psychological thriller, 2005, and it's R-rated. Yeah. Academy Award winner Juliette Binoche from the English Patient stars in Caché about a talk show host and his wife who are terrorized by surveillance videos of their private life. 
a lot of that going on today. That seems interesting. For some reason I missed this one, but I'm going to check it out. I have seen this one. It's a scary darn movie, I thought. This has got Sarah Mc Michelle Geller in it, The Return. This is for my buddy. I picked it up for her. If you haven't seen this one, you ought to check it out. It's really good. Uh, this is when Sarah was very young. PG-13, 86 minutes, 2006, and it's a supernatural thriller. Shocking, non-stop supernatural thriller unlike anything you've ever experienced before. She's haunted by increasingly terrifying visions where she can see and feel the brutal, brutal murder of a woman she's never met. And this is also for my buddy. Ringu, Ringu, Ringu. The original movie that inspired The Ring. Again, a scary dang series, I think. I love, I like all of them. I really like Ringu. A mysterious video has been linked to a number of depths, deaths. <laughs> and when an inquisitive journalist finds the tape and views it herself, she sets in motion a chain of events that puts her own life in danger. Unforgettable experience. Ringu. Good stuff. And I think this is the last one for my buddy. It has Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig. The Invasion. The Invasion. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I was going to tell you. Ringu is 96 minutes, 2013. It's Japanese with English subtitles. And the invasion, something terrifying has come to earth, something that attacks us while we sleep and turns us into soulless replicants. The clock is ticking in Washington. D.C. psychiatrist Carol Bennell, Nicole Kidman, and her colleague Ben Driscoll embark on a heart-stopping journey into a nightmarish world where the only way to stay alive is to stay awake. Ugh, that would be terrible. That would be terrible, trying to stay awake to keep alive. All right. Kidman and Craig, PG-13, 99 minutes. This is a pretty cool one. Um, have you done? Have you guys ever been to Alcatraz and done the tour? If you haven't, then you could get something like this. <laughs> Alcatraz, the final sentence. I have seen and I have been in the in Alcatraz. It's kind of a spooky little place. Back. So this is a 1988 documentary, 60 minutes long. It took them two years of research and filming to create this historically accurate and detailed account of life on the rock. I can't wait to watch this. It sounds really good. Next up, an oldie but goldie. I didn't have it, so I picked it up. Colin Farrell, Forrest Whitaker, and Kiefer Sutherland in... Phone booth. R rated, 81 minutes, 2003. Another psychological thriller. I do love my psychological thrillers. So, a single phone call can change a man's life or possibly end it. Uh, Colin Farrell delivers a captivating, off the hook performance as Stu Shepard, a self centered New York City publicist who suddenly finds himself on the deadly end of a high-powered rifle scope. Yeah, pretty good movie. I wanted it for my collection, so there it is. And we got something from Franca Potent called Creep, Evil Dwells Underground. Never seen this one, but it does look interesting to me. If you've seen this one, let me know down below. Is it any good? Let me know. Creep. R-rated, 85 minutes long, 2005, from Lionsgate. London, midnight, unable to find a taxi, model agency Booker heads underground. Waiting for the last subway train, she dozes off and awakens to find everyone else gone. She gets locked in, but she's not alone. Hey, sounds good. Another good one. The Vicious Brothers present Grave Encounters 2. I wonder what... I don't have Grave Encounters 1. Looks like I'm going to have to go searching. Look at that. 
Artwork. Oy. Sick, scary fun. Fear is just a word. Reality is much worse. Indeed. Indeed. There's the back. Grave Encounters 2. 98 minutes long. From 2012. Tribeca Films. How about an old schooler? Very old school. It's got the, still got the flipper case. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> Christopher Lee's fantastic first ever performance as the Lord of the Undead. It's the first one. Horror of Dracula. 1957, 81 minutes, and it's not rated. The best in the Hammer, Hammer series. Highly recommended. Christopher Lee and, of course, Peter Cushing, Britain's premier masters of the macabre, bring the horror of Dracula to vivid, full-color death in this retelling of Bram Stoker's spellbinding vampire tale, Dracula. I probably have seen that one. I just don't remember it, and I didn't have it, so I'm, I have it. But I wanted this flipper case, the old flipper case. So there it is. Next up from MGM Christina's House Christina's House MGM 2001 97 minutes and it's R rated behind the, these walls lies a secret she may not survive within every wall of her home someone or something has been watching a taunt and t horrifying thriller takes a hot young cast, including Brad Rowe and Brendan Fair, into its dark innards where mysterious murders keep claiming its guests. Yikes. There you go. You seen that one? Let me know. I have not seen it. A drive-in horror series, Rage, can last for... Do you know? <laughs> I just thought of this. Las Vegas has still has drive-in theater. Great setup, man. I've been there for a couple of films. I, I really, if they have horror films, I like to go to the drive in theater and watch it. My wife, not so much, but I enjoy the heck out of it. So here we have Savage Spirit. That's what made me think of it. The top drive in horror series. Savage. Does your, does your hood, does your town still have a drive in? Let me know. Here's the back. This looks creepy as hell. 2005, not rated, and it's 84 minutes. A young psychic is awakened by a horrifying nightmare. Is a vengeful ghost really killing the living, or is the psychic losing her mind? With realistic detail, she witnesses the victims of supernatural violence. As the visions intensify, her husband encourages her to seek help. Is it all a dream, or the dead really need her to save them? Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting to me. Oh, man. Here we go. Keep running. It's in the drive-in horror series. Teen, or They Feed. Oh, they Feed, not rated. 2005, 86 minutes. A shocking thriller that will make your skin crawl. A team of young scientists and a sexy tag-along travel deep into the... And a sexy tag. <laughs> that doesn't make sense says, a team of young scientists and a sexy tag-along travel deep into... <laughs> and a sexy tag-along? Okay. Ah, we'll read it like that. A team of young scientists and a sexy tag-along travel deep into the woods to search for a downed airplane that has been missing for decades. In a horrifying turn of events, they soon find themselves the prey of flesh-eating creatures that relentlessly pursue them through the wilderness. You know the sexy person has got to go. <laughs> they feed. Looks like fun to me. And finally, for my Goodwill and uh, Desiree Industries pickups, we got the DVD collection. I picked this up because it's got all three of them in it. And um, I don't... Yeah, I haven't seen them. So, subspecies, three-pack, 
by Full Moon. Got subspecies, Bloodstone subspecies 2, and Bloodlust subspecies 3. Let me know what these are about. I, I just don't remember them, so. It's a legendary vampire saga now fully remastered. So, looks interesting to me. Looks great. Okay, that's it. Tell me what you think. Anything you guys liked? Anything you've watched and suggest I watch first? No? Ah. For watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and watching the old boy talk about scary movies. Because you're there and you're watching, there is Carrie with Digital HD. Get it while you can and enjoy. Let me know who gets this if you're if you're the lucky one. Let me know. I want to know. So hey guys, again, thanks for watching. Indeed, um, I enjoy doing these. I've got uh, a couple more um, pickups that I want to do. Stay tuned for the dollar Dollar Tree number two coming up. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I certainly need subscribers. I want to get to a thousand one of these days. So, you know, we're on our way almost to 600, but uh, not too far, not too far to go. So again, thanks for watching. Keep smiling. Until later. Peace.